All right, here with James McFadden, P3 finish. Really creative choice of where to put the headband on you. What do you think of uh, that race tonight? Big uh -huh. big names, top four. Could yeah. throw a blanket over you guys, especially later in that one. Yeah, uh, disappointed, really, to be honest with you. Like, my car was really good. I just had terrible restarts. I'd get sort of two or three cars that passed me. I think at one stage it was ninth or tenth, and just really couldn't get a clear run at the start and then I did and then sort of got slid by Kerry and a couple other guys and I'm like man I've just just can't you know can't do the right thing in in traffic and then sort of settled myself down and started catching Kerry and pass him and then you know could catch these guys but you know the rubber was there I thought about doing a Hail Mary and just pounding the top and so man we'll just we'll just get it back in one piece so proud of my guys um you know <laughs> The outlaws showed up tonight, and the, you know all the good high limit cars, and to run the top three is good. You know, obviously these two are the best guys in the country, and we're there. The you know, last fifty thousand race, we ran third to them, so uh, we're in the hunt. We just got to uh, work a little harder. What's it like seeing this crowd here, just on a Tuesday night, show out and pack this place? Yeah, it's sweet, mate. I kind of want to go drink beer with them. They're they're a noisy bunch. Look like they're having a really good time, and you know it was so hot. Um, so I'm sure some of them have a few. <laughs> Gonna have a headache in the morning with some heat stroke and a few beers, but uh, yeah, pumped with how big this event is. Um, everyone's been super friendly being here, and you know the the hype was real. Um, you know, when we anytime we come to a small place with high bank and you know a little cage match sort of UFC style fight, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. The high limit guys performed tonight. The outlaws showed up. You guys converge again on Saturday and Friday and Saturday at Knoxville, and I don't know many people that aren't going to that. What, what do you think about that race and, and preparing for what's what it's going to be like? Yeah, I think we all know the high limit's got the uh, got a huge depth of of cars. You know, not just the top four or five. You know, the whole way through the whole way through the field is brutal, mate. Um, you know, I think four or five times I had a different guy slide me, a high limit guy slide me there during that race. So um, pumped that the high limit guys could smash them. Um, that's what we like to see. I'm sure social media will have. I like to say about that, but uh, yeah, I think Knoxville's, you know, Knoxville's a, a, you know, a really big qualifying track, and that's what the Outlaws are so good at. So time will tell. We'll see. We'll see how we go. It sounds like even if it's tongue in cheek, there's a little bit of that serious pride that we've kind of been waiting to see if that showed up, especially when you guys got to Knoxville and when Nationals came around. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, I think everyone had their doubts about this series, and and as they should, and you know. Uh, myself included, but I think they've really done a really good job. Um, you know, the organization and Mike Hess on the radio and things like that's great, but man, the product on track I think is lights out. Um, you know, I don't think you can pick a winner. What's our 11, 12 different winners on the high limit this year? And um, every night it's a, it's a, you know, you know, you know that you're not going to know who's in the, who's in the top five, but you don't know who's going to win. And um, I think that's shown right now. And there's a lot of guys that probably should have won a few races and haven't. So, uh, yeah, I'm just pumped to be a part of it, mate. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun.